Hello everybody, welcome to my uh, very first City Skylines mod tutorial video. Now I've gotten a lot of requests on my videos as well as um, on Twitter and Facebook um, asking how to make some really nice looking cinematic shots. Um, a lot of people have issues getting these cinematic shots because they say that their frame rate is too low they're not sure how to get the shots that look smooth and really nice looking. So today we're going to go ahead and take a look at that. So to start off with, you're going to need a few things. Um, of course, you're going to need City Skylines, obviously. Uh, you're going to need the mod called Cinematic Camera Extended. Uh, you can get that on the workshop and I will leave a link for that down in the description below. Um, that's going to be where you are setting up all of your shots. Uh, you're going to need some sort of screen recording program. If you have a newer NVIDIA graphics card, you can use Shadowplay. It's a really good one. Uh, you can download OBS. That's one that you can get for free. Um, another good one is Bandicam. Uh, you can get a free version of that that has a watermark, or you can pay for that as well. That's another one. Um, so some sort of screen recording program. And then uh, lastly, you are going to need some sort of video editing program. Personally, I use Adobe Premiere Pro. Um, you can also use, if you're on a Mac, you can use iMovie. That should work. Um, and Mo Windows Movie Maker, I haven't really used it before. It might work. Um, whatever video editing program you use, it has to have the ability to speed up footage. So you have to be able to increase the speed at which your footage is playing, um, because that's the that's the real like key to getting these really good looking shots. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started here. So what I'm going to be doing in this video today is we're going to go from start to finish. We're going to set up a shot, we're going to record the shot, and we're going to edit the shot, and then we're going to look at the final product. And with all of that done then you should be able to, at that point, produce a, a very good looking cinematic for your city. So first off, let's start with this neighborhood. We're going to be doing a cinematic shot of this neighborhood, and I'm thinking we're going to do it just going down this street, just a, a shot like something that looks like this, just going down the street here. So let's start with opening up our mod here, Cinematic Camera Extended, and we're going to take a look at the UI for that. So there are quite a few options here. Um, let's start here at the top. You've got the uh, the plus sign here. You can click that and that's going to add a position to the path. So you click that, that's point one, and then you move to where you want point two and have your camera facing, and then this is point two. Now you can add points by hitting the plus button here, and you can remove them hitting this X button, or you can use the plus and minus button on your keypad on your keyboard. It will uh, it will do the same thing. So by doing this, this is essentially the basics of getting it set up. And if you want to preview what that shot looks like with just the normal settings, you hit this button right here to play the current path. So let's go ahead and do that, and we'll take a look at it. Now bear in mind, I'm at about 30 FPS right now, so um, we're going to come back to that later and, and see how to boost that up to 60 in the cinematic. So let's go ahead and hit play, and as you can see, that moved really quickly. So what I do to slow that down is you can see the duration of the point. So you've got point zero to point one right here. If you change this, you can use your scroll wheel here, or you can put it in manually to let's say 20 seconds. So if we do that to 20 seconds, it's going to take 20 seconds to get from point 0 to point 1. So as you can see, it's slowed down quite a bit. But as you can see, there's also still some stuttering and it's just not that smooth because it's still between about 30 and 40 FPS. So let's see what we can do about fixing that so we're here on our same points point you know point one point zero to point one it's a 20 second duration 
Now, the key to doing this is going to be slowing down the frame rate. Now, because I'm getting about 30 FPS here, I'm going to slow it down to 15 FPS, meaning that when it records, it's going to record and the simulation is going to run at 15 frames per second. So we just click that FPS button and hit play, and it's just going to record it at 15 FPS. And you can see it's kind of stuttering, but it's still recording at and holding at 15 frames per second. Now the issue with this is uh, when we go to speed this up, because we're still maintaining the same speed, the camera is going to move four times faster. So we want to slow that down too. So if you look at this drop down box here, you can reduce the camera speed by half or we can reduce it by a quarter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reduce it by a quarter. So that's pretty much slowing it down, you know, by four times. So if we do 15 frames per second at quarter speed, it's going to slow it down quite a bit. Now there are still a few things you'll see like the, the flickering and the flashing. Um, I'm not sure what causes that. It might be like my video card or it might be some of my graphic settings and things like that. Um, so, you know, you, you just got to look past that. When you speed up the footage, it's it kind of disappears a little bit. I think it has to do maybe with the shadows or something like that conflicting. But anyway, we're, we've just about got our footage here. It's, uh, it's going at 15 frames per second at one quarter speed. And then once it finishes up, we'll have the footage that we need to take into editing and get sped up and uploaded. All right, so there it was, 15 frames per second at one quarter speed, and that's pretty much your shot. Now you can do some other things as well, like uh, you can change the field of view. So like, let's say we're, we're over here and we want to give it like this really wide field of view. You can do that, or you can really you know pull it back and change that FOV just to make it look a little different. I mean, these are all personal settings that you can you can play with to see what you what you prefer, what you like. Um, I definitely recommend you just mess around with it um, and, and find what works for you for different shots. I mean, this is again is just a basic tutorial. I mean, if you guys want like something really advanced, um, I'm sure we can do a longer video on that and show you really what this could do as far as like different shots with different fields of view and uh, you know really really digging deep into it but this is really just something basic to kind of get your feet wet and and show you how to make those good looking uh, cinematic shots now that we've got the shot completed let's go ahead and hop over to our video editing program and get this edited and take a look at the steps needed to do that and what the finished product's going to look like. All right, so here we are in Adobe Premiere Pro. I've gone ahead and I've imported our video here, which, uh, as you can see, this is the the footage that we took. Um, you know, it's about nine minutes, ten minutes long, and we're going to go ahead and uh, get our cinematic shots here. Um, so let's go ahead and just get that, which is. Let me go back to where we took it. It was right about here. I'm going to cut out all of the the nonsense of the talk in there. And here we go. So this is what we have to work with. 
And as you can see, it's playing at, you know, 15 FPS. And it's going really, really quickly. I think I messed that up. Let's see if I... Yep, there we go. I needed to go from here. Now keep in mind, when you do this, you're really only going to get the footage. You're not going to have to cut out so much like I did. Um, because I recorded everything that we were talking about there, I had to cut out a lot of it. So here's our... Here's our footage at 15 FPS at one quarter speed. So let's go ahead and speed that up. So if you're using Premiere, all you've really got to do is just go to speed duration and change that to 400%. And that's going to give you an 18 second clip, which, you know, really, really simple. And then what I like to do, since we're just doing the small clip here, I'm going to go ahead and render the selection. Well, let me see if I can get it to render. Actually, let me just render my end out here. So we're going to we're going to render it so we can get smooth playback in Premiere because if you don't, sometimes it doesn't give smooth playback in Premiere. So we're going to render it here real quick. And it'll take just a few seconds to do that since it's such a small clip. All right, so there we go. The video is all rendered out now. And uh, let's go ahead and take a look at what it looks like now that everything's been taken care of. All right, so that was just, you know, a small little short few second shot, uh, you know, a little 20 second uh, cinematic shot. Now, there are a lot of other things you can do to improve the quality of that. Um, you can get the, uh, I think there's a mod that has like a LOD toggler, so you can um, increase the uh, distance or decrease the distance for the level of detail for items. So things will, you know, show up in your shot a little better. You can also get the mod that, um, it's the dynamic resolution mod. That way you can kind of like bump it up to a higher resolution in game. Although by doing that, you're going to, you know, really significantly drop your frame rate. So you're going to have to record at an even lower frame rate. But just keep in mind when you're recording at a lower frame rate, you want to speed it up by however much it needs to equal 60. So, you know, you're recording at 10 frames per second, you're going to have to speed that up 600 times. Or six, well, six times, 600% or six times, depending on what program you're using. So, yeah, it's it's really the basics of it. Um, but, you know, use your, use your, um, your mods in game to, you know, set the lighting, get everything just like you like it, and then record it, edit it, and upload it, man. That's all you got to do. That's all you got to do. So... I hope that's helpful. Um, I know it's kind of kind of a long-winded explanation. It's a pretty long video, but uh, once you do it a few times, you will certainly get the hang of it, and before you know it, you'll be really out there recording some really awesome cinematic shots in City Skylines. So um, I hope this was helpful again, and if you liked it, drop a like down below. Uh, you know, leave a comment. Let me know if you'd like to see any more mod tutorial videos. Any quick rundowns, things like that, uh, I'd be happy to get those made. So, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.